All right, guys, welcome to something a little bit different. Um, this is a Nintendo Wii game, so I will have to use the Wii controller, which will be a little bit difficult. But um, yeah, this game was made by Atlas, so I'm basically an Atlas channel half the time. But um, I did uh, play one little part before. That. That's why it says continue. But um, I had to buy this game used, obviously, because a new Nintendo Wii game would probably be pretty expensive, so, um, yeah, only played one part, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start a new game, and let's also hope that, uh, whatever cutscene or music isn't copyrighted, so let's go ahead and start a new game. Yeah, I'm gonna do, like, easy. <laughs> Operation complete. All right, bring in the next patient. Dr. Cunningham, this patient's convulsing. Damn it, it just never ends. Just go, leave this place to me. Off. <sighs> it's Lisa. I thought it'd be useless calling the house. I want to get Joshua's things next Sunday. I'm sure you won't be there anyhow. Got the keys in the mailbox. Huh. Well then. Going on. Uh, this go no one here? told me I'm getting a roommate. Hey, ta -da! What are you doing? Isn't Hugging it amazing? The red one goes over there. Let me introduce you to your I've new partner, How the Roni you? system. Isha, my office isn't a storage room. This baby's built to help diagnosticians like you. 
It sorts and reviews records. It also has a disease database. Amazing. I'm sure even NASA would be impressed. So if we're sued, the records are here. Thanks for the trust. Gabe, just try it out. I I'm sure you'll like it. Right. I'm sure. If you ask me, this thing's just... Good morning, Dr. Cunningham. Uh, uh, for the love of God! This thing talks? I'm sure you'll get along just fine. I'll leave you two alone. Later! You're sorry for the intrusion, Doctor. Hey, Emma, you should apologize. Wait! Isha! Ugh, great. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Condition identified. Deep sighing. A possible sign of cardiac neurosis caused by fatigue. Recommend ingestion of beta blockers or tranquilizers. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks for the tip. Look, I got a favor to ask. You know, since you're so smart. Yes, Doctor. What is your request? Just don't talk anymore unless I ask you to. Okay? Just sit there like a rock. You got it? Yes, Doctor. But my composition is 82% petroleum processed materials. With my 10% mineral base, I cannot be a very convincing rock. Oh, looks like I got company. Hold on one sec. So, how do I use you? Examine the patient and enter in all observed conditions. Then I will calculate the most probable disease currently. Hey, just one step at a time here, buddy. Not a robot. Correct. There is a 90% probability that you are human. You can get back to me on that 10% some other time. Now, let's start the diagnosis. All right, well, I guess this is where <laughs> the game actually starts. Um, you actually get to choose which character you want to start the game with. I uh, played a little bit with this uh, character, so I already so I already like went through this case. But that was like half a year ago, so <laughs> we'll see how um, easy it is to go through this. But yeah, um, this is the patient, 14 student private school admitted for breathing problems that occurred during choir practice. Um, hello. Um, I... Hey, no need to be nervous. Just relax. Oh, okay. Well then, are you ready, Miss Super Robot? Yes, Doctor. But I am not a super robot. I am a diagnostics assistance terminal. Whatever. Just stop talking. And let's start the consultation. Okay, starting exams point to the options on the left and press A to begin each exam. Now, let's see what you've got to say. Why'd you come to the hospital? Oh, yes. Alright, try to find symptoms by listening to what the patients say. Point at words that are related to the patient's symptoms and press A. Um, I'm in the school choir. There's an important competition coming up soon. But my throat feels all weird for some reason. Alright, if you make too many mistakes, then you will fail. Great. <laughs> Abnormality in the throat. I need to find a more specific symptom. Hmm. An abnormality in the throat. Um, I don't think there's anything there, right? <laughs> I get the feeling there's still some information in what she's saying that I haven't picked up on. 
Yes, doctor, the patient herself may be unaware of the symptoms she is exhibiting. I recommend that you discover the symptoms through objective observation. I know that already. Oh well, I guess I should listen to what she has to say again. Um, I'm in the school choir. There's an important competition coming up soon. But my throat feels all weird for some reason. Um, it's kind of hard to inhale, and I can't really catch my breath between notes. So she's having trouble breathing. It's a light case of dyspnea. All right, for what, whatever reason, we didn't get that choice the first time. Roni, can you record the patient's symptom? Yes, doctor. Congratulations, you received the symptom, dyspnea. What the? Do you need to say it like that? Make it sound like we're playing a video game or something. Which we're obviously not. That is my default syntax and inflection for new record entries. Will it affect the diagnosis? I have a variety of templates in my database if you would prefer another. Change it. This isn't a game, you know. What were they thinking when they put you together? Understood, Doctor. Changing my expression at the end of the sentence and confirming it. New symptom observed. Dyspnea. Uh, oh, that'll do. It's about as close to normal as you're gonna get. Maybe we just let her talk some more. Actually, I had to take the day off from school yesterday, too. I was getting short of breath just sitting still, and my heart would start pounding. Hmm. So you've got palpitations and shortness of breath, even while resting? What about now? Are you still experiencing these symptoms? Huh? Oh, yes. I've been feeling like this since yesterday. I see. I'll need to auscultate you later on. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. Thinking about this is a little depressing. Oh, but there's something good that's happened. I've never been able to stick to a diet before. But lately I've been able to lose weight no matter what I eat. Lost weight? Well, she seems rather happy about it. Losing weight without doing anything isn't normal. We should add that to the list. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Decrease in weight. Um. Yikes, what am I talking about? Anyway, that's it. Doctor, am I sick with something? All right, that should do it. There's no need for further consultation. Certainly, Doctor. Please continue with the auscultation. Signs of palpitations and shortness of breath can be detected by the patient's speech. Yeah, yeah. You know it sounds like you're the one giving me orders. Doctor, the auscultation exam is now available. Alright, so let's use the, uh, stethoscope. Alright, I'm going to take a listen. Could you lift up your clothing for me? Okay, um, this is a little embarrassing. Doctor, please express more consideration when examining patients of the opposite gender. The social and legal intricacies of such interactions call for greater care to avoid unnecessary risks. Hey now, I'm just using a stethoscope. How else you expect me to examine her? Oh, uh, I'll be alright. Oh, look, you just made this whole deal even more awkward for her. Alright, I remember this part being, like, maybe a little bit tricky. Alright, use a stethoscope to listen for abnormal internal sounds. You could check the heart, left lung, right lung, and abdomen. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you're not going to be able to hear it. Unless I stick the Wii Remote up right up to the my microphone, I guess. You can change the output on uh, the right by pressing A. All 
Alright, I screwed that up somehow. <laughs> Alright, so now you guys should be able to hear this. <laughs> Alright, uh, standard sounds hold C and tilt up and down to compare with a normal sound sample. Press A when you discover an abnormality. Alright, that sounds normal, I guess. Say that's an abnormality. Hmm. Her heart rate is elevated. Roni, record that symptom. Yes, Doctor. New symptom observed. In So <laughs> the patient's breathing pretty rapidly. Roni, make a note of it. Yes, doctor. New symptom observed. Increased breathing. Uh, I don't know why we had to listen to this one as well, but Exit. <laughs> huh? The more I examine the patient, the more incongruities I'm finding. Let's see. Time to check them out with a visual exam. Alright, try to find the symptoms by observing a patient's outward appearance. Point at, point at the patient and press A to zoom in. When you find an abnormality, press A to examine further. Alright, that's a neck worthy of the word graceful. Hmm. There appears to be swelling on her neck. Alright, I'm sorry, but I need to touch it just a little. Oh, yes, but please do so. I see. Does this hurt? It does hurt a little. Well, I think we should do a CT scan. Roni, make arrangements for image analysis. Yes, Doctor. I am initiating the approval process. Please designate a date for this procedure and list any other pertinent details. What? Huh? It's for today! Immediately, right now! Peesh, there's gotta be an open slot for her. Doctor, are you aware of hospital regulations? No one ever got better by following regulations. Now hurry up and do it! Yes, Doctor. Request sent. New symptom observed. Swollen neck. Also, the CT exam is now available. So I guess we're not done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, uh, didn't think they'd build nagging machines. I don't know what... To me, it's the hands. Her hands are trembling. That's not a good sign. Roni, make a note. Yes, Doctor. New symptom observed. Trembling fingertips. Well, that's all the obvious symptoms. Let's end the exam for now. This is 
Thank you very much. Don't thank me just yet. The exam isn't over. You may have to come back here depending on the results, okay? Oh, yes, of course. I'll do just that. Now, time to leave the exam room. I'll just come back if I need to. Alright, now we can leave, I guess. Uh, port to the door and press A. Dr. Cunningham, I am obligated to provide you with instructions on hospital protocol. Please return to your office if you wish to perform a diagnosis or record your progress. Also, the preparations for the CT examination you requested earlier have been made. Please proceed to the image analysis lab if you wish to check the results of the exam. I'm not an intern, Roni. I know how this hospital works. This room is allotted for doctors to confirm and review images of their patients. The CT's ready, right? Well, let's check it out. Roni, bring up the patient's images. Yes, Doctor. Now opening the image files. Dr. Cunningham, I would like to explain the details of this exam. The CT exam is short for computer tomography. An X-ray is applied to the human body and tomographic images can be taken of the affected areas. You know I went to med school, right? And not online classes or something? I'm an actual doctor. I am aware of your credentials. This explanation is written into my default settings. Is that so? Well, it's a good thing they didn't program you with anything useful, huh? All right, doctor, these images of the are of the patient's neck. In other words, they're tomographies of the neck and around and the area around it. Uh, yeah, time to start looking for a reason behind the swelling in her neck. All right, let's check these out one at a time. All right, look for the patient abnormalities in the exam images. All right, tilt it up or down to compare with a normal sample. Some exam images will have no abnormalities at all. Have you reviewed all the CT exam images? The neck has already been photographed with the CT. Please find the reason for the swelling. Will you shut up? I know that. I need to look at it again. Yeah, I didn't see like an obvious difference. <laughs> thyroid gland is swollen. This will help with the diagnosis. I should go back to my room and sort out all these symptoms. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Swollen thyroid gland.
I already found all the clues I need. No use coming back here for now. Indeed, Doctor. Please return to your office. Well then, time to narrow down our candidates from these symptoms. Alright, point to the brony and press A to begin the diagnosis. Point at save and press A, yeah. Guess I can go ahead and save it. <laughs> Show me the likely conditions from the symptoms we found. Yes, Doctor. Now displaying all potential diagnosis candidates. Alright, now the diseases that the symptoms we've discovered apply to are... Point to a candidate and press A for a description. Alright, I remember what it is now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of this stuff. A condition in... alright. Alright, a condition... A, a, Painless uh, thyroiditis, I guess. A condition in which the thyroid gland has been destroyed. The release of the thyroid hormones into the bloodstream causes hyper hyperthyroidism. In the onset of the disease, a thyroid gland swells, which can be confirmed through a visual examination as swelling of the neck. In some cases, the swollen thyroid gland places pressure on the Respiratory tract causing difficulty breathing. Increase um, in hormone hormonal levels in the blood cause increased heart rate and heavy breathing. Other symptoms that may arise include trembling fing trembling fingers and weight loss. An analysis exam will reveal abnormalities. Uh, also, no uptake of radioactive iodine can be confirmed in yeah, whatever. Syntography. Alright, so let's go back to this. Um, swollen thyroid gland. Um, what's there? Like fingertips somewhere? Swelling of the neck. Trembling fingertips. Uh, I don't remember what that is. <laughs> Any of that stuff. Alright, let's go to Graves' disease then. Right, swelling of the gland. that. <laughs> Maybe I picked the wrong one. Alright, swelling on the neck. Alright, increased breath rate. Alright. Alright, weight loss. <laughs> Increase um, heart rate. All right. All the symptoms seem applicable to this candidate. Doctor, it is possible there may be more candidates which match the patient's symptoms. I advise checking the symptoms against other candidates as well. Did I say I was finished with my diagnosis? I was about to do that. All right. So three on that one, and all of them on that. I guess we can just like drop them, see if they match. <laughs> increase heart rate, increase breath weight, uh, breath rates of both of those. Says so trembling fingers. What's that? Weight loss. <laughs> 
what is this one? I don't remember. Difficulty breathing, <laughs> all right. Swelling in the neck. Hmm. This candidate seems quite plausible as well. That is not entirely unexpected, Doctor. It happens quite frequently. We should continue checking the other candidates and narrow down the list of matches. Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. Alcoholism, yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. Increased heart rate was one of these. I don't remember. Cardio, probably. Uh, rapid breathing, so the other one. Is this difficulty breathing? Yeah. seeing like anything else. Alcoholism, come on, that's impossible. Doctor, if I may, there is no objective evidence to deny this condition. The symptoms are consistent with it, so it must be a viable diagnos diagnosis candidate. Do not be fooled by the patient's appearance. Remain calm and objective. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> Increase heart rates, so the cardia. Uh, trembling fingers, I guess. Yeah, don't know, that's probably about it. Okay, increased breath rate, is this one right? Breathing is this one. Trembling hands, so that one. Increased heart rate. But like nothing else. Alright. Diagnosis. Get approval for the necessary exams. Yes, Doctor. Would you like me to submit immediately for the date and time? Yep. You catch on fast. I'm sending the request now. An MRI exam, a scintigraphy exam, and an analysis exam are now available. Alright, I guess scintigraphy or whatever. Sam. Alright, that one. And a scientific degree on that one as well, so. Now we need something more concrete for our diagnosis. Let's get started. I agree, Doctor. Hopefully the additional exams will be of use. Dr. Cunningham, I have more information for you. Analysis exams. Also, the preparations for the MRI and scintigraphy exams you requested earlier have been made. Please proceed to the image analysis lab to check these results. Yeah, yeah. I do know my way around my own workplace, Roni. Preparations for the scintigraphy and MRI exams have been completed. Hmm. Perfect. Let's get right to it then. about the exams that are now available. Uh, whatever. I don't have the energy to even try and stop you anymore. Scintigraphy is an exam where the accumulation and distribution of radioisotopes are made into images. By confirming the uptake of isotopes, the condition of tumors and organs can be analyzed. Next, the 
Magnetic Resonance Imaging Exam, or MRI exam. It uses magnetism to take cross-section images of the human body. It is similar to a CT scan, but there is no exposure to radiation. Because MRI exams can yield more detailed images, they are generally used for foci in the head. You're just a walking encyclopedia of things I already know, huh? All right, so let's check this out. <laughs> Doctors, this image is a patient of a patient's head. Yeah, that's right. In other words, it's a slices of the human head. Now, time to look at them. Gotta check for any abnormalities. Uh, do you see anything? Because I don't know. <laughs> Next thing. Alright, this image is of the thyroid gland in the patient's throat. It shows uptake of isotopes. Yeah, I know, I checked them out already. Alright, that's obviously different. Hmm. The uptake of radioactive iodine is concentrated in several areas of the thyroid gland. Ronan, make a record of this. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Abnormal thyroid uptake. Alright, I guess we go back to the exam and oh, now the office, I guess. This is your office, Doctor. You may diagnose names of diseases or record the progress of your examination. Thanks for giving me a tour of my office, Roni. Well, why don't you help me with the diagnosis? Understood, Doctor. I am at your service. Alright, so that would probably eliminate that one, but either this, the top one, or this one. No uptake. So what abnormal thyroid uptake? Take of whatever. Maybe that. <laughs> now we need something more concrete for our diagnosis. Let's get started. I agree, Doctor. Hopefully, the additional exams will be of use. Results say. Well, we're still narrowing it down, but it's most likely a thyroid gland disease. Thyroid gland? Uh, um, I'm going to be able to sing again, right? If, if I ever lost my voice. Calm down. I know you're worried, but I'm not finished diagnosing you yet. Just hang in there until the final results are in. That's true. I'm sorry. I guess we got a new thing here. Roni, how about it? Is the analysis exam done? Yes, Doctor. Would you like to look at the file? Of course. Why bother with an exam if we don't look at the results? Bring it up. Understood. Opening the file. Well then, let's go in order and compare the patient's values with the standard values. Alright, look for abnormal levels measured by each of the tests. 
Point to the levels outside normal range and press A. Alright, so that's normal, I guess. Anything like abnormal at this point? Yeah, I'm not like finding anything so far. seems a little high. Roni, make a record of this. Understood, Doctor. News. Alright, this one's like a little bit, but not like a ton. I guess. Well, it isn't by much, but the FT4 level's a bit higher than the standard range. Roni, record that for me. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. This one's way too low. <laughs> Her TSH value seems rather low. Roni, please record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Low TSH level. I'm not really seeing like anything else, right? something obvious. <laughs> She doesn't have something that's too serious. And so, it's just a simple orthopedic procedure. And... and I'll be completely cured? Huh? Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you so much! Come on in. Oh, you again. What do you want now? My, how rude! 
I am the chief, after all. It's my job to watch over everyone in this ward. All right, just get to the point. What do you want? <sighs> Would it kill you to be civilized? I just got word from Tomoe. Joshua's operation went well. I see. You're not going to go see him then? The operation's over. Why would they need another doctor? That's not what I mean. What I'm trying to say is... Yeah, yeah. What else is on your mind? <sighs> Here. An invitation? You want me to go to a medical conference? It's a good one. With an after party. And it's in Japan! It's being catered by an Italian chef. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, what was that for? Unfortunately, I don't have time for pointless things. If conferences saved lives, I'd be the first one in line. Oh, by the way, can you take this to Hank? What? Surgery instructions? Gabe, I'm the chief, not your personal carrier pigeon. Hey, you said it's your duty to watch over the ward. Ugh, oh, fine then. Well, I guess I'll do it for the first episode. <laughs> Even though I like played it a little bit before, I still struggle to uh, like figure out um, entirely what to do. But uh, yeah, it took over an hour to do that. But <laughs> anyways, um, can I change a character? Yeah. So um, I guess next time we'll start with whoever this is. <laughs> and we'll go from there. I kind of wonder if it's like more difficult if you, the further you go to the right. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.